Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Chase and Zelly, and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently, and that is how do you deactivate Zelly in your Chase account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to deactivate Zelly in your Chase account? Well, that's pretty easy. You, as you probably know, when you sign up for Zelly, people can see the little icon next to your number. So maybe you want to go ahead and deactivate Zelly for privacy reasons. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's handled in your Chase app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Chase app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Chase app. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you want to deactivate Zelly in your Chase account, what you want to do is click here on the bottom left. There's this button here called pay and transfer. It looks like a dollar icon. Once you click there, you're going to see different options for your Zelly account in Chase. However, today we are going to deactivate Zelly in our Chase account. So you want to click on this line right here called settings. Once you click there, you're going to see two different options. Go ahead and click on Zelly settings. Once you click there, you're going to see a few different options about your Zelly account inside of Chase. However, in order to deactivate Zelly in Chase, click on this button down here at the bottom called deactivate Zelly. Once you click there, you will see this pop-up warning you that if you deactivate Zelly, it's going to cancel all pending requests for money that I've sent. However, if you decide to set up Zelly again, you'll be able to see your recipients and Zelly activity for the previous 13 months. So if you're sure you want to go ahead and deactivate Deactivate Zelly in your Chase account, go ahead and click on this blue button down here called Deactivate It. I'm not actually going to do that because I do use Zelly quite a bit with my Chase account. However, that is the easiest way I know how to deactivate Zelly inside my Chase app. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.